How is it going, boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. Got some good weather today here in Key West, Florida. One of the highly requested videos I've had lately is deep dropping. So I've got my electric reels um, solo today. Weather looks pretty good. Um, weatherman hasn't been doing as much justice on reports, but as of right now, it looks okay. It definitely looks fishable. I heard that the current is relatively calm out there, so I'm gonna head out. Um, just kind of take a peek around see what we can get into i haven't been doing a lot of this commercial stuff because of gas prices kobe has been another highly requested episode um, it's so much gas to get out there the risk is not really worth the reward right now so i'm gonna do some deep dropping and hopefully we can put some fish in the boat and um, i'll talk about some of my rigs and bottom machine and what i'm looking for along the way so come along with me I'm at my first spot. Um, first thing I always do once I get out here, just put the boat in neutral, let it float so I can get my drift and see which way I'm heading. Um, ooh. Oh, that's kind of weird. Maybe that's mostly wind. There must not be a lot of current because I'm going uh, northeast, or northwest, excuse me. Um, but dang, that's my first spot. All that life right there on the edge. It's, all you can see is it's a little hump. I'm coming off the backside now, it drops down, comes up maybe 40 feet or so. Um, I'll try to be a little more comprehensive today covering um, the sounder, the settings, what sounder I have, rigs. I'll try to go over a little bit of, of everything, but I'm gonna get set up. Time is money, gotta get a bait down, and um, let's rock and roll. So I'm pulling back up over the spot. You can see just a little hump. Um, I know everyone asks like what it is that I'm looking for. Honestly, if I can find bait, I'm looking for bait, but any kind of structure, you know, that comes up from 640 up to almost 600. Um, you can see all the life there. I'll show you my settings here. I don't have anything special. I literally, I don't even mess with any of this stuff, if I'm being honest with you. I do gain on auto. Sometimes I'll mess with the gain just a hair. Um, if I see just a bit of fuzz, this is 50 kilohertz, uh, low frequency and high frequency. If that fuzz is a little light, then I'll turn the gain up, but for the most part, I don't mess with any of these settings. My transducer is a Airmar B260, and it is straight to the unit. There's no module, um, there's nothing fancy on it, so. But you can see, this is the spot. I mark kind of where all my fish are. The light blue is snowy, dark blue is other fish. Um, drift is northeast I ran over that right here so I'm gonna get this bait down and see if we can find a fish and I'll talk about my reels real quick um, this is a Shimano Beastmaster Whoop. Shimano Beastmaster, they made a different model a while back and I was more fond of that one. This is a newer one. I feel like the motor doesn't like to free spool. I feel, I feel like the motor in this one's a little lacking compared to the last one. Uh, and this is a Tanacom 1000. I mainly deep drop with these, I have two of them. Uh, the other one is not on a reel right now, so I brought the Beastmaster along. And as the day goes, I'll cover some more stuff. I'm just trying to get a bait to the bottom. I'll go over rigs and whatnot, but. First bait is going down, lots of life. Let's see if anybody's home. So kind of like sword fishing, I, t I tend to like these up and down. This rod is a lot softer, so I fish this one in a zero degree. Um, the Tanacom has a little bit of a stiffer rod, so I'll fish it in the, the 30. And I'm on the bottom, and when I get down there, Typically I'll bounce it a couple times and then I, for the most part, want it to stay pretty still, but it kind of depends on what the current's doing. 
If there's a bad current, you don't want to lay it down for too long because it's a good way to snag and break everything off. Bring it up, drop it. Like I always say, action brings action. A lot of times I'll just pick the weight up and just slam it on the bottom. Show you something real quick now that i am driving because i'm driving to keep it up and down my drift has changed so i'm going a little more east which is okay I'm still going over the spot um, but a lot of times once you start to back it up um, to keep your line up and down your drift is going to change a little bit so. so i keep getting some little nibbles uh could be rosies but that means there's fish in the area so i typically open it up lay it down if anybody comes back a lot of times when I lay it down um, is when fish will come and grab it right when I turned the camera off I laid it down big thump and then just wham So this rod is really soft compared to the other one, so it makes fish look a lot bigger, I'll be honest, but um, it's kind of giving the reel a little bit of trouble, so it should be a decent fish. So it started out real heavy and fought for a while. And it kind of turned to dead weight, so I'm guessing grouper. So I got a good one there. You can see I'm up on top, all that bait. This was my first drift, this little squiggly. So I'm gonna go just a little off of it and do a similar drift, but not exactly the same. And uh, while that one's going down, I'll go over my rig a little bit. There's no exact science to this. As I always say, this is just my way. It's not necessarily the right way. There are a thousand different ways to catch a fish. So I've got normally either 80 or 100. Sometimes I'll have 65 on these reels, uh, pound braid to a bimini twist to a wind on, that's what the wind on is. Down to here, big swivel, light, uh, and some type of deep drop rig with 300 pound, 200 pound, some people use four. Oh, we got a twist in there. But I normally use four hooks, kind of spread them out a little. Again, there's no one way to do this. If there's a hook down there with a bait on it, something can eat it. I prefer squid, sometimes I'll fish bonita, um, depending on what I got on me. Uh, but today I'm fishing all squid and that is it. This reel has the same exact rig, wind on to a leader with a light. Um, and that is it. That's the, the gist of my deep drop rig. This one just got to the bottom. So I have two ready to go. If the bite gets good, as this one comes up, I'll start putting this one down just so I kind of get double the, double the uh, opportunity, so. First drop, nice snowy. I'm gonna gut it and nice it here in a sec. We're back on the bottom. So I had a nice little thump pretty much right when I got to the bottom, so I'm gonna open it up.
creepers are biting. So I've caught two snowies on this spot, one hake. Um, give it one more drop and move along. Try not to overfish anything. So I don't think I mentioned hooks. Um, anywhere from, I think these are 14 O's. Sometimes I use 16 for snowies. If I'm going smaller, like tiles, smaller blue lines or anything, I'll switch down to probably a 10 O circle, all circle hooks. Um, just wanted to mention that. I think these are, I believe these are 14. That's kind of like a happy medium in my opinion. We are on a new spot. Caught two snowies on the first, pulled one off, so I moved. Similar spot. You see there's the rise right there, and there's just a bunch of life on top. Bait, it, bait is going down. Now if I find a ball of life like that, I'm trying to get up current of it drop beforehand, if that makes sense, because by the time you get bait, your bait gets down there, a lot of times you had already drifted over it, so. Depending on the current, I'll get a couple hundred feet up, up drift of it, and that way I try to get my baits right in the bait line. That's a good one. I let it slack, laid it down flat, walked away for 10 seconds, came back, switched on. Let me get that other reel dropped. Fought real good at the beginning and now it's just kind of dead weight. I'm guessing it's a real nice snowy. The reel overheated for just a brief minute. It's a good thing in a bad thing. Oh! Yeah! Uh-oh. I got my other line. That's not good. Come here. No, 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 no. Oh, I got myself a mess. Beautiful fish. 
Love it. Love to see it. Wow. Thank you so much, buddy. It's an absolute gorgeous snowy. Let's get some baits back down. So I'm going to show you right where that big snowy ate. I know a lot of you guys are asking, like, what am I looking for? Um, honestly, it's still fishing. Sometimes they're just there. So this is that little rise that comes up 30, 40 feet. And all that is life. You can see it. This is, again, low frequency, high frequency. It's just life. It's just a bunch of bait there. So typically if I find bait like that, there's some type of predators hanging on the outskirts of it. Um, just got down to the bottom. Sorry, I thought I had a bite for a second. Get down to the bottom. Like I said, I bounced it a couple times. That fish ate as it was laying on the bottom, so. I know a lot of the commercial guys say to lay your baits down, but it stresses me out doing it. For too long anyways. Obviously it works though from time to time. You're doing all right. Got a few snowies in the boat. Should hopefully have expenses covered by now. And after this, we're all in the green. Had one really, really nice snowy on that spot. Did two more drifts. Um, not a whole lot of action, so I shall press on. spot down we go show you what I'm looking at about the same kind of stuff little hump you can see some little scratches there and then you can see a little bit of bait and whatnot on the bottom so it's worth a drop Again, laid it down flat. Laid it down flat. I can see the, the line kind of taking off a little faster. Turn it on and they had picked it up. Doesn't look like a monster, but it's a decent fish. So this is a new spot. I've never fished it before, but you can see it kind of looks the same. Drops down. I'm on the deep side right now and I'm gonna drift up over that little edge. You can see there's a little bit of bait on the side. So give it a look. I missed the bite, of course. That looks like a pretty good one. Love to see it. Snowies are biting and a bonus rosy. It's a black belly rose fish. Bring these guys real quick. These circle hooks do their job. They get set in that corner. Not come out easy. Beautiful. Snowy. I will take it all day. Love it when they're biting. So I gut fish as I go. Um, it's less work once I get in at the market because you sell them gutted and it kills less ice. If you leave the guts in there, it's more mass to chill. Um, 
So I got them out here. So it really slicked out as you can tell. Um, the current kind of came in a little shallower so it's getting a little more difficult to fish um, to keep YouTube land realistic. It's been about three hours since I've caught anything worth filming. A couple of small rosies, no snowies, no tiles. I am not sure what happened. Got something little messing with this but it doesn't look like the right one. Probably try a couple more spots. Maybe call it a little early. After a certain point, I'm just eating into whatever profit I have made so far by running around and checking new spots. Truth be told, about 3.30 in the afternoon, the last snowy I caught was at 11.30 this morning. I don't know what happened, it just shut off, or just wasn't fish on the spots. Sometimes that's fishing, but there we go. And a little bonus tile. Not too bad. One really nice one, but decent amount of fish in there. So all in all, a pretty decent day. Hopefully we'll make a couple bucks. Um, I tried to be as comprehensive as possible with the rigs and showing you the bottom machine and settings and all that. Um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm happy to get to them. Uh, we'll head these back and get to the market, get them weighed up and get you the breakdown that you like. I will see you there. got some oh I've got some smudge on the screen I have got some commercial numbers here for you um, after going over the footage I wanted to mention I didn't even mention this in the video I was specifically targeting snowies I wasn't looking for any tiles uh, sometimes there's a bycatch of tiles but if I'm specifically targeting tile fish I'm fishing different areas different types of bottom um, a little bit smaller hooks so if you're interested in that, uh, maybe I'll make a tile specific video in the future. Just let me know, leave it in the comments. Um, but just wanted to mention that as I looked over the footage. Anyways, uh, ch -ch 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 -ch, we had, these are roundabout numbers, about 100 pounds of snowy, 10 of tile, blue line, um, and 10 pounds of rosy for a total sale of $637. Uh, expenses for the day, 200 in fuel, about 60 in bait, 
So 637 minus 260, $377 profit. So not terrible. Um, definitely didn't crush it. And they, these are daily profits. As I always say, I get some commercial fishermen that come on the channel and watch the videos and leave comments about I'm not making that much money. I know I'm not. And I try to, I try to make everyone else aware of that. Um, that is my daily profit. Um, but other than that, that is all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this one again. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm doing my best to keep up with them. We're kind of getting a little bigger, so it's getting harder to keep up with all the comments. Um, the replies to comments are getting darn near impossible to keep up with. I do apologize, but I'm doing my best. Um, but other than that, uh, like if you have not, subscribe if you're not, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for your time. I'll see you.